Hello and welcome back to my United States of America Darth Mod Empire Let's Play. Now last episode we took Charleston, Savannah and St. Saint... Augustine. Um, we are building up an army down here. We've got an army besieging Williamsburg. And we're only just sort of holding this uh, settlement off really. So we're going to have to keep going at that. I'm actually going to attack this straight away. Demand surrender and have accepted. So we've taken that back. Pretty good, I'd say. I want to repair that straight away. We don't need to do any healing, so we won't do that. Can we recruit anything? No, because that's damaged. Right. What I'm, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to send armies. Keep sending them up, basically. Because there's no real threat down here of being attacked, because it's quite far from the main British settlements where they actually make and pump out troops. So it's a good, good situation we're in at the moment. Ones that don't attack Maryland, which they probably will. Do. Yes. No. Nope. Yes. 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 That was expected. Um. Now what I need to be aware of is the fact that when a settlement is besieged, if you don't actually sort of like get out of like attack them before a certain time, then basically uh, they can just take it automatically. They automatically take the settlement, which isn't great. So I do need to be careful of that, which is what happened twice to me now. And it actually happened with my capital, which isn't the best. So since we've got a few armies down here, let's get this army. First of all, let's get recruiting some stuff. Like so. And let's attack here. Should be quite a big battle, yes. Very equal numbers, they've just got better units. Let's go. Two part uh, video, just because of it. Uh, Obviously, the battle is to come, so the battle next episode. Intellect is invisible to the man who is not. Arthur Schopenhauer, I think, German's philosopher. Right. We've got artillery, which is very good, because uh, we were lacking that last time. Now, we can actually... But yeah, we can place them in quite a large vicinity. The only trouble is is where will they spawn well they're going to spawn in here which is a bit awkward i think i might put my yeah i'll put my artillery on top of this hill which is sort of central they can't really be attacked from behind which is quite obviously quite a good thing can't seem to Just doesn't doesn't really like this, does it? No, um, that'll do anyway. Um, any more cavalry? We've only got two units of cavalry, and one is a general, so that's not great. We'll put you up there though. And is that a split 50/50? No, not quite. That probably is. Um, I want this army on this side, um, and then this army this side just in case there's any sort of um, reinforcements from behind. I'm going to pause straight away so I can assess my situation. Reinforcements, yes, 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 yes. So we've got no enemies behind us which is brilliant. They're all actually coming from this direction. So in a way that's pretty good. They've got some, uh, yeah they've got some from there. Where's our reinforcements coming from? Here. And... Here. That's fine. At least there's no sort of... Um, awkwardness within it. If you know what I mean. Like if our reinforcements coming from behind there, or if theirs was coming from behind us, that would make it a bit hard to sort out. I'm actually going to split them up straight like that. Um, 
not put them as close together. I want, I'd like to, I like to cover large areas basically. Ungroup that and where should we put this out? Because that thing in the way. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, well, what I'll do then is I'll put you there. And you lot. No, don't want you to retreat. Put you up here. And then you lot along hither. Well, we'll group you. If I can. We'll play. Fuck, they're already charged at us. I don't want these guys firing. Hessian. Fire at the Hessians, considering they're pretty good. Right, get, get ready to fire, please. Um, and then we'll have these firing on the Hessian also. Um, so li literally a matter of just holding on, basically. Um, that's all we can do. That's all we're going to do. Um, in fact, these three units here. And actually, to be honest, I'd rather this group. Is it this group? Yes. I'd rather this group actually just sort of come down here. This is the risk. Oh dear. Get here now. Please. So they don't want this guy to die. Also, that's a charge. They can just go there. Ah, this is because we've we've maxed out on units. Fuck. Please get fired. Please fire. What are they doing? This is hard to keep track of what's going on. And what a fucking disaster. I don't know what the fuck went on here. Oh fuck the fuck. Attack! Um, these need to come down there then. Any units from behind? I don't think so. No. They're firing on them, which is fine. If anybody does as long as you can win that. Losing slightly. They should fucking lose. Come on. Are you serious? How can one fucking fend off that many? Where's where's my cavalry? Get over here. How are they? How? No idea how they're doing that. Oh god. Please work this. Shit. This is fucking ridiculous. That one unit of Dragoon could would not be able to destroy 
two units, nearly three. Here where I lost it, it's because of these all these fucking little mounds are getting in the way. Kill the enemy gen. That's good. I want you up there. I want you in reserve. Get up here and defend the artillery. That's a massive clusterfuck right now. Holy shit, look at all these. I mean, we should really be able to win if they could just defeat us. Fire on them or something. Let's not fire on them. Right, I'm grouping them. Who are these? They're actually going in the conga line, so that's good. Um, I want to ungroup these because. No, in fact, charge on them. No! Charge on them! Are you, like, retarded or something? I think in the future I might start having like big stacks of like six cavalry units because they're quite a powerful unit to have if you uh, group them all nicely, if you know what I mean. Right, let's um, regroup, let's uh, put auto fire on them as well. Um, I'm going to fire at them. Like 200 unit, 200 cavalry uh, unit, uh, men, 200 men on horses charging straight towards you in a massive like funnel line thing, all cheering and jeering. Would not like that. As I just noticed as well. Like fuck. Shit! I'd be a bit concerned about my flank if I was being... Let's have you 
just firing on them. Not you, though. We lost our general. Great. Who's this guy? Right, he's obviously the one that replaced... Uh, the one that re retreated. Attack them now. I want him to stop now. Stop firing. In fact, you can fire because you're firing at that square. Are these agreements that I've got off the horse now the ranges? <coughs> right. Let's push even further up now. They've got loads of reserve units that are just repeatedly coming in as soon as one is, uh, is uh, scared off. So that's no good, but we must be in a better situation than them. Although that's not the best. I get out. If you can. They're done. Is there a better target for our... Let's actually just get our bloody battery flying right over there. Let's get our... Just attack them. Kill them all. Kill them all. Quickly, please. Before uh, another unit of cavalry comes in. Who are they firing at? Over there. Right. So, thanks for watching everyone. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, the second part will be in the next episode, obviously, and we'll just see what happens over here. We will obviously win. I don't know why they're running back. Get out, please. Get out of there. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my social media, and check out any other Let's Plays videos that I've got. So thank you, and I'll see you next episode. Goodbye.